guys, we were at the Blackstone River engorged in Blackstone, Mass. We had about three inches of rain last night. It was coming down pretty intense. We, I think it was Tropical Storm Andrea. So we're gonna go see the level of the water. Well, the river is definitely running wild. Last time we were able to walk out over here to get to the edge, but it's flooded right to there. So we'll get up top and give you a good view. Well, as most of you know, water is my element. It's where I feel happy, at peace. It just makes me calm. It regrounds me, it refuels me, and I just love it. Ooh, look at this, awesome. I was just so excited. I just saw a northern water snake. It just went so fast. Oh well, at least I have a memory of it. Every year we miss the mountain laurel blooming, so I'm so excited. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm in seventh heaven with the amount of water that's flowing. And I love being down at the gorge anyways, but seeing that um, northern water snake really made my day. I couldn't get over how fast he was moving and seeing the mountain laurel. Been an awesome day after all the rain we had. The trails are a little slippery because of all the rain we got last night. You gotta be careful that you don't slip and fall. Look at that river, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Normally I walk you guys out to, I don't know if you can even see it from here. There's a tree that I sit on to meditate, but it's all flooded. We can't walk out here today. I managed to walk over some rocks. So there's a tree that I normally meditate on. Isn't that wild? I just wanted you guys to see how slippery this rock is. My, my hiking boot is just slipping on it like an ice skate. It's very dangerous. Got to be careful. Be careful, Chris. You don't want to fall in this water. Well, here's another path. We're gonna have to cross over a little bit. I think you need to do a few more like this one. Oh, I gotta go up that hill? Yep. Holy cow. Yep, shutting the camera off. It's too slippery and I don't want to damage my camera. It doesn't look like much, you know, looking down on this, but when the rocks are slippery, I'm telling you, it is uh, quite dangerous. Normally we could just like go up and down here, no problem. I know, you guys are probably saying, Brenda, you're showing us another mountain laurel. But I've never seen them bloom, guys. This is really exciting. They are gorgeous. Well, we haven't been here in a while. The bridge is all done. We're gonna just quickly, um, we're pulling into the Skull Rock Lock parking lot, but we're not gonna go to Skull Rock Lock. We're just gonna look over the bridge to see how the river's looking from this area. Well, there's at least, what, two or three more steps? The yep. water is up this high, but this is the calm part of the Blackstone River. Big difference from the Blackstone Gorge to down here. Wow, that is a lot of poison ivy. Here you can see how they marked the bridge being built in 2012. And the river is still very quiet up here. You can see where it's flooded, Chris. Where these tr it, the water shouldn't be over there where those trees are. Wow. 
So we're up on the bridge and it's all of a sudden got very muggy. Like, oh my gosh, I wish I had pulled my hair up. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, on the way to Riverbend, we just stopped at the Salvation Army. And look what I got, guys. Another bell for my collection. Woo! Gonna be adding that to my altar. Two bucks. Gotta love the thrift stores. Now we're at Riverbend down by the spillway. Last time we were here, this was completely dried up. So this is another part of the Blackstone River. Gosh. This says, bees swarming. And I am afraid of, oh yeah, I can see a few flying, oh my goodness. Am I going to be brave enough to go by this? Oh yeah, you can see them all over the ground. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get it on the video. What the heck? Ah! Oh, sorry for screaming. It just came at my face. Oh my God, look at them all. Okay, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Did you hear me scream, honey? Did you hear me scream? A bee came right in my face. Oh my gosh, we can't even get down to the area to walk. Oh my gosh. Wow. Went by the bees for nothing. Did you see them all on the ground? Yeah, they, the guys at the nest though. Oh, the nest, oh, from the storm? Yeah. Oh my gosh, poor bees. Well, normally we would walk all the way out there, but that's not happening today bad for these bees even though I'm scared of them because I don't know what's the chance of them surviving if the queen bee you know oh my goodness that's sad walking across the little bridge here it's a pretty narrow road Oh, look at this, some pretty daisies and red clovers. So beautiful. All right, now we're crossing the road. I'm gonna have to get over this guardrail. This one's a lot shorter than the other one that I went, or I attempted to go over. Oh yeah, look at them. Awesome. Oh, look at, this is the first um, cow vetch of the year. That's that purplish blue flower. Very pretty. What my husband just found. This is a snake skin. They shed their old lair. That was a pretty good sized snake. I'm going to take that home. And then right here, you can see where there were some. I've got to be careful with poison ivy. But these are turtle eggs. And most likely a raccoon dug up. I'm right on the edge of the road. You can probably hear the traffic going by me. make it. This is Rice City Pond. The Blackstone Canal is over to your far left and then it comes underneath the bridge and joins in with the Blackstone River. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. You can get a better view of the snake skin to see how long it is. I'm thinking it was from a small northern water snake. Isn't that cool? Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you had a chance to connect with nature. Bye-bye. I -bye. stopped at another secondhand store and I got another bell. This one's much bigger. Bigger. Much bigger. And there's a little one. You ready to blast off? Yeah, my bells are gonna go flying. Woo! All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.